Okay, I'll just fill her up. First fill up, start her up. Uh, went through the gears, front and back. Well, at least up in the air. It seems like it. I don't know. There's no lag, no delay. Um. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So, I don't know. I guess the G test is once the change gets to 120 to see if I got it. I mean, if not, you know, then there's the next part, which, I, you know, at that point, I'm just gonna, I would do the whole mech unit instead of changing all, all the servos and, you know, I'll just replace the whole mech unit. I mean, to keep the wiring harness. I don't think that wiring harness comes with a new mech unit. I don't know, but, I don't know, but nevertheless, the wires were a different color on the new mech, or that new wiring harness, that's something I noticed was different, um, you know, those uh, spacers or seals, whatever those things do, um, there's something else, but no leaks, I got my cross member off still, I'm going to keep it off for now, I'm actually I'm going to fill this thing up and then uh, probably sandblast it, paint that, it's got some rust on it, so we're going back to Chicago, back to the Midwest, we're moving back, so we got to salt proof the uh, undercarriage of the car, well, I mean it came from Illinois, but still, get it ready, get it more ready, and right now just waiting for the trans to uh, warm up, about what did they say, 40 Celsius, between 40 and 50 Celsius, um, and check the fluid again, but I'm going to add an extra liter, since I can, I have the capacity to do so, I'm going to do that, uh, but hopefully I fix my problem, like I said, I'll find out when the trans gets to 120, that's when I was having that uh, gearbox malfunction pop up, so... I plug in my ODD 11. Alright, so I gotta get off the phone to do that. Alright, everybody. Sorry, I was listening to something. Alright, we'll see you guys later.